Hello, I'm going to be taking you on the journey of what it's like to record and release a song. And um, I just finished the demo for the song. The date today is Thursday, July 15th. So I'll play you a little of what it sounds like right now. So I was making up melodies to this thing and I was like, ooh, this sounds cool. I just wanna see inside your mind. Da -da 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 and I was like, wait, that sounds familiar. What is it? It's five seconds of summer. This is currently what the logic session looks like. It's pretty disorganized. Bunch of drums, because I'm figuring out what drum sounds I like the best. Ah! I can't believe I did a kickflip! Do all these key changes work? You, but I don't want to be without you. A part of me, a part of me. I'm currently practicing the bass um, so I can record it and have it sound good. Okay, here I am, I'm recording guitar and this is always quite a process. Um, probably the hardest of them all. Because like singing is hard to get it perfect, but that comes more naturally than playing the guitar. But oh my God, it's just so difficult. It's not even that this is hard at all, but like there's just so many factors in making it sound good and like playing it well. Oh my God, this is, this is so much, um, but it'll all be worth it in the end. So I had some dinner and I'm feeling a lot more hopeful because I tried recording with the condenser mic and it sounded terrible compared to the two dynamic mics. And I had never done that before because I had never had two dynamic mics, but my brother's home, so thank you, Ethan. And now, like, it sounds so much better. Just did another, another round of recording, feeling good about it. Um, I think I also get better at playing the guitar the more I play it, who would have thought? you add up all the different takes that I have recorded for guitar, it adds up to 61. So I'm listening back to guitar tracks that I just recorded. Um, this is the morning after last night. I feel refreshed and I was ready to try again. And I think during yoga this morning, I had a realization of like, wow, wait, the guitars would sound so much better if instead of just recording one guitar track if I kind of like split it up into like a twinkly one and like more of like a rhythmic distorted one and thank god for that because it made so much of a difference and I'm listening back to it and it's just so twinkly and I I just love that in music like it reminds me of Skylight by Pine Grove um, and I will be sure to add so many more twinkly things in this one but I'm just I'm so excited now like I, I was not feeling great last night, but now I'm so, so excited. It's 3.33 in the morning. This is the third time I've woken up this night, and I've just been having dreams of mixing the song. <laughs> and this keeps happening. I'm thinking about the music video and what I'm gonna do for it, and I just had an amazing idea. Um, I want to make it a skate music video. Like I, I like have like me and my friends like skating. I've done one kickflip so far, and I need to do another one so I can get it on video and include it in the music video. And that will be my motivation to fucking kickflip. Cause how funny would that be? Like I do a music video where I do a kickflip. So this is why we say goodnight, you turn off the light. 
I was just listening to the song and like thinking about possible music video things and just like listening to listen to it and like oh, I'm so excited. I love this song. I'm recording more keys for the song and I found this sound that I'd never used before and like it's just exactly like what it needs when it goes to like the last choruses to just like the, the extra oomph. So today we're putting my cat down and um, until then I've just been working on this song to like distract myself but it's kind of hard because the song is like literally about saying goodbye to someone and um, like different parts of it will just be like playing in my head when I'm not working on it. Um, like the, the line behind your back call you my best friend. <laughs> um, yes, I the song has now has like a, a new meaning. So the date today is August 21st, and a year ago yesterday, August 20th, um, I found my old journal, and this was the day that the thing happened that I was anticipating in this song. And it didn't happen how I thought I would. It was very, very different, because I think I wrote the song a couple months before, um, just like anticipating leaving. Yeah, it was an interesting day. Earlier that day, I, I went skating. And I watched Jacob Collier videos, and then I said goodbye to the person. Well, it's a year later, so happy birthday. So I was feeling quite overwhelmed because recently I recorded background vocals, um, twinkly acoustic guitars, I got guitar tracks, and I recorded more guitar tracks, and then I recorded keys, which added a lot of more tracks, and it was just a lot, but uh, I went with what I thought was most important first, and that worked well. I'm just realizing how long seven hours is. I don't think I've ever done anything for like seven hours other than like sleep. But like, would I play music for seven hours? Absolutely not. Would I watch YouTube for seven hours or a movie? No. <laughs> the date is August 24th and I've just finished the first mix of the song. Mix number one. I just bounced the first actual mix of the song, so now I get to like listen to it on my speaker. Today I learned that um, you're not really supposed to use as much reverb on the lead vocal as delay. Didn't know that, never really used delay before, so gonna give it a try, uh, see how it goes. I plan to do other things today, but as soon as I start working on this song, I just get so wrapped up and I end up doing it for hours and like neglect my basic needs like food and shower. Help me, I think I'm falling in love too fast. It's got me open for the future and worrying about the past. Cause I've seen some Do you want to see how many takes I did? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> At the end of this song, um, there's like a breath that I do that is... I recorded vocals on the day that we had to put Leo down because I was feeling raw. Um, so I recorded vocals because I was like, maybe there's something in here that will come out of me. So I did that. Um, and at the end, there's like a slight breath where I go. <sighs> and it's like, it was from that take. Um, and it, it's, I think there's breaths at like the end of like multiples of my songs where I just like exhale. Like I know that it's at the end of Stardust. Nice. I'm breathing out here. Breathing. 
So I've been trying to get this like distorted vocal sound for like parts of things I say. Um, haven't been able to do that until I realized in the presets there's a megaphone vocal, which is exactly what I needed. So what it sounded like before. I what it sounds like now. I myself up off the ground. A part of me with the part. Finally finished the mix. Now I have to go on to the master. But I made it to finishing the mix and not hearing everything wrong with it when I listened to it. So it only took 22 mixes. Um, and with each mix, I, I would listen to it like three times on different devices and write down feedback for myself. And I did this 22 times. Do I know what dithering is? No. Do I randomly choose which settings? Absolutely. I just finished listening to the first master and I only had two bits of feedback. And they're like, check on this to make sure it's like good. Like it wasn't like, this sounds bad. And I'm, I'm just, I'm so happy. Well, I don't know if happy is the word. I'm emotional. Cause it's, I just, I've spent so, so much working on this and it's so, fulfilling to see it finally coming together. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We're trying to come up with a caption of um, the release post I'm making for a part of me and we can't think of anything. It's very hard. Behind the scenes. Hey, so I released a part of me a couple weeks ago. It's currently November 22nd. I have not made any videos documenting it because I kind of forgot, but um, I released it. It's been going well. I made, I finished the music video. Now I'm just like posting things and stuff. I'm very happy about it. And yeah, so this is the end of the video. This was the process of making the song. The process was a lot quicker than other songs I've done in the past because I'm learning more each time so I become more efficient. It was also just a more joyous journey. There was a lot less stress involved. I wanted it to just be like, I'm just gonna do it and I'm just gonna do it because I wanna do it instead of like feeling like I have to. And that was a really good thing for me. Um, so I think I wanna do that moving forward. It, it worked well and I'm, I'm just very pleased with it. So I hope you enjoy the song. Um, yeah, go listen to it. Yeah.